Hey, I'm Dan Fitzpatrick here at StockMarketMentor.com, and uh, it's uh, February 21st. Uh, here's a free chart video. We're actually going to be looking at several um, different stocks. Okay, the aerospace and defense sector. A lot of attention has been, at least from what I've seen uh, in the financial media, um, has been looking elsewhere, but traders certainly haven't. Um, you look at Boeing. Um, I think the defense sector's smoking hot. Um, Boeing weekly chart over at Option Market Mentor, we had a hedged position, a bull call spread on this. Uh, we've had it for a while. And just last week, I removed the hedge. I, it, it was a, just a long-term position. And I said, you know what? This is going higher. We just want to be trading this um, you know, with no hedge whatsoever and let our profits run. Um, I think that's that was a right call. But look at these others. And by the way, these companies don't announce earnings really until like the end of April. Um, so you've got effectively two more months before there's a catalyst to sell these darn things. Lockheed Martin, just breaking out of a volatility squeeze. This has more upside. Um, I think a lot more. Raytheon hasn't yet broken out. Set an alert for like 110 bucks. Maybe make it 111. I'm doing that right now. If the stock starts trading above 111 bucks, we'll actually make it 110. What the heck? Um, you want to be looking to buy this stock. Um, Northrop Grumman, nice uptrend. Just ride the trend. Weekly chart shows this is a heck of a lot smoother than Boeing, isn't it? Uh, be nice to have been long Boeing way back when. Uh, but you don't get to do that. Northrop Grumman, though, works right now. It's not a great area. I mean, it's not a great buy point. You're you're late if you're buying it right now. You're definitely not early. But are you too late? I don't think so. You can wait um, if you want to get a bit. If you want to get a better pullback, if you want to say, well, you know, I'm just I'm not going to buy this stock till it hits the 20-day moving average. That's a middle Bollinger Band. I think that's fair too. What I'm saying is this is a trending stock and the trend is up. Okay, Honeywell, you know, it's okay. I would rather own Lockheed Martin than Honeywell. United Technologies, ever since it broke out of this um, reverse head and shoulders, the stock's been doing really well. This is one you can own. It's a, it's a Dow component, by the way, and the Dow's moving higher. So is this. In fact, where is this relative to everything else? At an all-time high. OK, we like stocks that hit all time highs because they tend to keep doing it for a while. OK, just a couple more um, L3 breakout above 130. Um, this stock, I think, is working, too. It's poised to go higher. This works. And then finally, um, BE Aerospace, different than all the others. These others have all pretty much just been trending higher. This is really um, been in correction mode and I'm looking at this now saying like okay the 200 day moving average has been um, resistance for this stock it's finally broken through um, the resistance from stock at higher levels clear back here in July okay that's not particularly relevant okay it's over seven months um, do you really think the folks who bought here at 65 bucks expecting the stock to bounce, then it didn't, and instead it fell down, you know, effectively 40% or something like that? Do you really think they're holding their stock still, saying, if I can get 65 bucks for it, huh, then I'm going to go ahead and sell the stock? No, they're either long gone or they're just holding on. So this doesn't really matter so much back here. I look at this as a new a higher high relative to this one be aerospace works as well so anyway um hope this has been helpful to you i do these sector spotlights pretty much every weekend in our weekend update i just wanted to show you kind of what one of them is like for those of you that aren't members um love it if you'd try out stock market mentor for a month on me um, but otherwise, hey, just keep sticking with the free charts here and hopefully you're making money on these too because that's really the idea. Okay, I'll see you next time.